¿no? What's happening? Okay. Bye bye. Yep. Bye. Bye. Got a few people on. Yeah. Don't come in for two weeks and come over here and make all the noise. You in our street for next year? No. Mm -hmm. Left us, so I guess we'll just start hitting some of these. Who's the moderator? Oh, oh Mallory. Mallory? Oh, did she just gonna roll out? I guess. Um, well, we don't really know what we're gonna do. What do you mean? Oh, she's mad at you. That's we what happened. We don't need your laptop. I have another one. We don't need your laptop. That's why I have this one.
Hopefully. So I don't think there's really any real format here. Just kind of wanted to answer some questions for some yeah, people that uh, watch us during the meeting. Yeah. I mean, so you gotta, if there's rules, you got to follow. Yeah. Or at least we them. like non rules. You know. How come you don't wear your seatbelt? Is that I an do. example? I wear my seatbelt every time I get in my Outside car. Outside of your race car. Oh, and it's, you know, a four. It's personal choice. Hang on. No, no crashes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Huh? Knock on wood. Oh. Tried to crash for years. Yeah. So. You've tried for a while. That one. Yeah. I, I don't like on purpose. That one will take up a little bit. I did. That's the insurance purposes. We can't talk about that. <laughs> It was a long time ago. <laughs> it was the statute of limitations. That's right. It's been way more than seven years. No. Right now, Dad's going, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. Yeah. What a moron. Yeah. So. Uh, so, yeah, I guess throw us some questions here. Mallory will pick the ones she likes if we see any weed. I mean, there's a, there's a whole bunch of people here on I YouTube watching this. We're on YouTube? We're on YouTube and Facebook. There's more people on YouTube than Facebook. Well, that's cool. So I read a whole lot of the comments and to the, the, the YouTube morons out there, uh, we appreciate everything. Like there was a lot of good comments about how they're proud of, uh, of the season we had. Oh, for sure. Man. And it was, it's cool to read for sure. It's a, it's a turnaround from last year of seeing, man, why don't you guys yeah, give up? <laughs> We're like, yeah, we do. You know, you know it, it was a rough couple of years for sure. Yeah. Um, Seen it yet? Um, thank you. We can talk. We can talk a little bit. You you figure out a, a few whenever you see them or whatever, or interrupt our story, whatever. Yeah. But we, we can talk about this season. We can talk about uh, the growth, I guess, uh, of of our team. For um, sure. It came up this year. It did. We, we, we set out this season to do something. I'm sure a lot of you have heard me say this in the past. Uh, I've said it a couple of times, and I'm sure I'll say it more. But we set out, we had a goal at the beginning of the season. And that goal was to see if we could actually compete in MPK. Because uh, let's be honest, uh, the last two years, even though we have, what do we do, one race in season one, doesn't really count for doing season one. Yeah. That, I, mean, that, I didn't even at realize. The point, it wasn't even really MPK. No, it was another new world for sure. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then we came in the end of season, end three. Of season three and did one race in Ennis. Yes. And then we did four, five, and six. Yes. So honestly, man, in, in my book, that's three seasons. We, we've done three seasons, and two of those seasons, we, we fought and fought, fought the small drop. Um, we're just trying to push that combo key part. Uh, it, it was not already made. It was so. What? They're not made. They hear you. That. Okay. Oh, we'll wait. We'll turn the compressor off. Hey, boys, find something else to do. Well, once the air comes out, we're going to turn the air compressor off. Uh, it was one of those things that the, the small block combo was pretty amazing. Uh, it made tons of power. It made it every bit of power of what we needed it to make to run the number that we needed. But it staying together had, had complications. Uh, Running it as hard as we had to run it. It was competitive. Yeah. It, was, it didn't want to stay together, and it was also just very sporadic. Um, it was real temperate. Pounds of boost. By the time we get 80, 82 pounds of boost, anything over that, and the, the motor never lived anyways. So it, it would uh, it would torch the head. Every time we made 83 pounds of boost, it would torch the head. Yes. Um, Ricky sent uh, some stars and asked, did you enjoy Bandamere this year? Yeah, did enjoy what? Bandamere. Bandamere? Yep, Ricky. I always enjoy Bandamere. Bandamere, uh, anybody that, that, that knows us or anybody that knows, I can't think. Okay. Preston eighty eight twenty two says, "Why can't y'all be more than Preston at golf?" Oh, we can. We, we did can. for years. We did for a long time. We'll and then, we got, and then we got good at at uh, yeah, this MPK thing, yeah. and you guys stayed here and practiced it up, and 
and, and we suck at golf. So it, it is what it is. It's fun for us, Preston. It's not a job like it is for you. <laughs> so uh, back yeah. to the other one, Bandemir. We always enjoy Bandemir. Bandemir is always an amazing facility. And, and it's not just that. It's everything to do with, with that place. Uh, the atmosphere. And it's weird weather. because there's lots of reasons that I won't get into of why Denver is not for me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't dislike going to Denver. It's just the people there are not what we're used to. They're not our people. They're, I can't say they're not our people. I mean, I'm not saying that they're not there. Our it's just. Uh, it's way I, more laid back and chill. And I feel like anytime I'm in Denver, uh, I need to be like everybody else, take two or three gummies, uh, grab, grab, Get on their lip. grab a beer, <laughs> yeah. and, and just a nice not have it, any worries. And with everything that I have going on right now, I just can't do that stuff. But yeah. uh, the track itself is amazing. I'm going to miss that place. Uh, the view, the constant view is amazing. The weather, if anybody that knows <laughs> Fat people enjoy cold weather, and I'm not speaking for all fat people. I hate cold weather. Um, anytime I can put a hoodie on, uh, a beanie, anything like that, still shorts. Yeah. Most of the time, still flip flops. No. Uh, then I'm enjoying life. If I could sit in a lawn chair, not have bugs flying around my head, uh, flies landing on me, and it not be 128 degrees, I love it, and I love Denver's weather. So uh, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a rough, what, four or five years until Denver comes up with another track. Yeah, so if, I, if that happens. I heard that they already had land secured and everything, but who That's knows? That's what I heard, too, but there is even if they already started construction, oh, yeah. what's it going to be, four years? Probably. So uh, it sucks that, uh, that, that tracks are closing like that, especially something that, uh, that is, has meant that much to drag racing uh, and has that much history. But... It's it's everybody that moves into those areas and then bitches. They move they to moved. where there's a racetrack and then gripe about the sound. They move to a place that was close to a historic drag race place and then yeah. they bitch about the noise and that kind of gets to the same thing I was talking about. Denver, yes, is is, is like being yes in California. Uh, Scott Overton has asked, "How do you plan to make the NPK Nova lighter?" Um. Well, I lost uh, over 30 pounds this season, and, and we understand that the easiest and the cheapest way to lose weight off a race car usually can start with the driver. Um, it's not cheap anymore, though. Yeah, but it's cheaper than... Well, I figured it's cheaper than that $10,000 on, on, car was from that. Um, uh, we've got a couple of things that we're doing uh, over the winter. Um, I started off last season, the first event of the season, and I was 290-ish in the car. Uh, right now, I'm 265. So in, as long as I don't get stupid over winter, now I'm getting a little bit stupid. Yeah, I mean, you might I'm gonna get a little bit stupid. stupid. But as long as I don't have to start losing weight again from 290 and I can start losing weight from 265, then I actually believe that I can lose another 15 pounds. And then after that, it's just kind of is what it is. Because I'm always going to weigh. Well, you've been, you've been down there, and you did. I've been to 228. Yes, it was not good. For it, me. It, it wasn't a good look. So 240 ish is the lowest that I could possibly ever get, and that's. I mean, I could physically get lower, but my body is not happy at that weight. You're, I'm, you're I'm always going to be big. big. I'm always going to be big. But as far as the car itself goes, um, we've got. Uh, VFN's making us a new front end and new doors. Uh, over the years, when you have a dad like yours, like mine, who doesn't like to look at a black car that's wavy, he's going to do as much body work to these parts as he possibly can. And you add in, you know, yeah, six different paint jobs. Uh, believe it or not, the paint, the body work, the bondo, uh, even Dolphin Glaze, whatever he uses to straighten all these panels and make this car look as amazing as it does. I mean, I mean there's a reason. We raced this thing. We raced this thing all season, and it still looks amazing. So uh, stuff like that weighs a lot. So I told him when the new stuff comes in, it's it's no body work. He, he's gonna he's gonna have to uh, 
he's going to have to sand it, you know, just and deal with it. it. Yeah. Uh, he can, it, without putting body filler on it all over the place, he can still uh, block it and, and make it as straight as possible. And the parts that we get from VFN are, are most generally pretty straight anyways. So that, and then uh, we're just going to nitpick a few things. Uh, one thing that this car doesn't have right now that most of the cars do, everything in it is titanium except for a couple of little pieces. And we'll probably go ahead and go titanium with those. And one of those being the wishbone. Uh, I've been a little bit nervous about putting uh, a tie wishbone in this car only for the fact that it has a wide four link in it. Most of them set on about a 17 inch this wide. One. This one is 20 and a quarter. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure it'll still be fine. Titanium strong and, and it should be okay. But that's one of those things that I've always thought I, I'm not gonna do that until I'm out of ideas on to lose weight and, and here we are. Yeah, uh, also, we do have 20 pounds in the trunk of the car. Uh, if we can make the front to rear bias what we want it to be, without that 20 pounds, we can take it out. So, uh, but we were there at the last of the season, we were dead on the 2,800 pounds of what we could actually weigh in MPK. Uh, it was pretty cool. Cause we've never, we've never raced at weight. We've always been, there was one 20 to 30 pounds TV. heavy. 27, what? Like 26, no, 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 it was like 27, 75. We had to put 20, 20 more pounds. We had to put some more weight in the car. But that was, I believe that was just because the scales were a little bit off. Yeah, but yeah. I, I would much rather the scales be light than read heavy because those people that can actually take weight out of their cars, if we pull up to a scale and it says 2820, when we know we're 2800 on the money, yeah. those people who can actually take weight out of the car can take that weight out of the car and then they can actually race under weight. Yeah. So, so uh, we, we can do a few things, but Honestly, we don't know what the rule set are, and we are trying to lose this weight only for the fact of, actually, not the fact, the hope that our combo is going to come in a little bit lighter this next season. It may not. In conjunction with that, Justin Cool asks, are you using the same power adder as next year? Yes, uh, allegedly. Uh, if we could lose enough weight to take advantage of the 136, we would do it. Uh, unfortunately, we're we're nitpicking the weight here, so there's no way we can get 100 pounds on it. Uh, aside from putting another driver in the car, and this is my car, I'm a driver. So, yeah. <laughs> so that, that's, you know, that's, that's that. That's that. Uh, we have a lot of people on YouTube asking about uh, Aiden Chevelle. Yes, Aiden Chevelle is sitting right over here, uh, waiting on getting the half time. Uh, it, it should have been done already. I'm upset that it's not done. But at this point, he's a senior. He's got a whole lot going on uh, in high school. He, I was gonna say, he plays back. He's on the basketball. He's team. on the basketball team. Um, he's got a girlfriend, so he is living his senior life. Uh, I could make him come out here and work on the car, but he 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 did it it. He he lifts weights. He goes to uh, basketball practice. He goes to. Uh, trainer crossfit crossfit he goes to uh he sees a trainer every wednesday night uh who helps him on his baseball swing and pitching so i mean honestly he's got a really full schedule and that's the reason that he wasn't at a lot of our races this year um he's full up being a senior i i don't want to take that away from him he has the rest of his life to be a moron with us and this is his senior year i want him to have a good time so I, I have to make him sit out here in the shop, but what good is it? It's going to be here when he's... And, and when honestly, he's I will, even, even though I want this car to be done so bad, I'm just not going to do it when he's not here. He's going to be out here with me. He's going to work on it with me. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had a little bit of time. Uh, he was on what break? Oh, Thanksgiving break. Yep. So the week of Thanksgiving, we came out here. We got the brakes on the car done. Uh, he got the interior put back in the car. We have pretty much everything. We, we like we got all the plumbing in from Red Horse so that we can plumb the fuel system and the water system, yes. and then we can lay the wiring out. And honestly, in a week's time, we could have the car running if we just got on it. Me and you could have the car running in two days. <laughs> yes, yes. But it's one of those things where if I just do it for him, he's never going to learn. 
And, and to be honest with you, if you have a car like what that car is going to be capable of, you have to know about it. At least it's some. Not, it's not going to just, I'm just not going to build him a car and go, here you go, son, and yeah. take it out. And uh, not that he wouldn't appreciate it, but if, what if something happened while I wasn't around? He wouldn't have the first idea how to work on it, how to figure out what's wrong with it, or even how to fix it. So we're kind of, we work on that when we get a chance. And through this Christmas break, uh, we'll probably get a little bit more done to it, but we'll just see. Yeah. Jeff asked, sent some stars and asked you, how is Mallory doing? Uh, well, she's fine. Uh, she's I the one behind the camera, right? Keep her constantly mad at me. So she's got that going for her. Yeah. But she's, uh, she's tough and uh, she's, she's getting through it, so. Hard-headed. Hard-headed, very hard-headed. She uh, did not feel great at PRI last week walking around. Sean would not go to bed. Sean told her to go lay down, take a day off work, and she would not do it. She uh, she powered through, so yep. it's uh, cool and aggravating at the same time. You're welcome. Um, everyone, a lot of people are asking, when is Dalton joining the NPK pit crew? Well, again, Dalton isn't much unlike a he's got a new girlfriend yeah. <laughs> man yeah finally after all these years of him laughing at aiden about having a girlfriend <laughs> and having to take off work and spend time with his girlfriend now there he is just like i told Aiden what happened i said yeah. one of these, you're just the first one to have him. it's always the first one gets the most that's right that's right so now uh, he has a girlfriend and honestly i text him 20 minutes ago and was like, yo, <laughs> did you find another job? I thought maybe he found another job. Yeah. And he was still at school working out. Uh, Dalton doesn't play basketball, but he is uh, in the gym, uh, lifting weights and stuff, getting prepared for baseball season. When he does come in, he tells me, yeah, it's going to wait for yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, but uh, when Dalton's here, he puts in the work. Uh, Dalton has a whole lot going on right now. Also like Aiden, he's doing some stuff. Uh, not real sure I could, it's not my place really to talk about this, but he has uh, figured out what he wants to do for a, a living. And he's been going to a lot of EMT classes. He's been going to a lot of uh, CPR classes. Uh, what's the, the, the medic first aid responder classes? And, I didn't know Things like that. Yeah, he's, cool. gonna be, he's going to uh, fighter fighter school, cool. which is, you know, I thought maybe he's doing it for the chicks. I mean, you know, we all thought about it. At least me and my buddies did. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think and I realized you got time on this. Yeah, you got time ladders and stuff and being uh, safe. And and, and and we support Dalton and, and just like we support Aiden with whatever they want to do. I think it's great. If that's what he wants to do, uh, firefighters make a good living, man. Okay. And, and and you you got Dalton messed up if you don't think that he would be that hero that runs into oh, no a, doubt. a burning building. No doubt. So They got them good good benefits too. That's right. That's right. So, you know, and I, and I think uh, a lot of what Dalton sees in it is they work a lot, but then they get a lot of time off. Yes. Do that so seven on seven. Dalton has realized that uh, to be a race car his whole life, like he wants to be, he is going to have to have a job that allows him to do that. Yep. So. It uh, takes a lot to be able to afford. Well, and he realized a long time ago that college wasn't his thing. Hey, I get it. So. Do you want to touch on that there is no schedule yet and when NPK6 will come out? Um, NPK6 uh, was supposed to come out. Look, guys, we, we hear a lot of rumors the same the same as what you guys hear. Uh, we don't know anything for sure yet uh, as far as next season of NPK. But season six, uh, NPK does air the 22nd, 22nd, January 22nd. January 22nd. Jesus. Same so same. it was supposed to come out January 6th. Which is... Which yeah. is weird because it's Saturday. Yeah, that was the first date that I can't we got. We even believe that. Nobody even looked into that. Yeah, well, we should have known it was Dominator that was saying that. Ooh, Dom must have got some faulty information. <laughs> so, you yeah. um, know. No, there's, there is no, was part of the, was the schedule that question too? Yeah. Yeah, there's no yeah, schedule. Yeah, there, there is no schedule yet. So we don't know when we're going to start. Uh, we've heard a lot of rumors uh, of, end of february beginning of march being the first race but mpk and, and i've also read some stuff online saying that mpk is dying and it's over and all this stuff it is not no. so i don't i honestly don't see mpk going anywhere not for a little while anyways it's uh i mean it's a legitimate race series at this point there and, and it's also 
leaning more and more towards a legitimate race series. It's it's yeah, it's leaning more towards race series than TV show. Like it, because you know, at some point it may not be on TV. Yeah, I mean, there's always that chance. That, you know, we've known that when people when this deal first started, and people told us, you know, that took Enjoy minutes your 15 minutes. Yeah, and we said, right on. Yeah, we're going. 10 years later. So, but yeah, at some point it's a possibility, and it's been established as. I mean, it's a, it's a race series. Like, call it what it is. You know, people want to bash it online or whatever sometimes. But, you know, these guys are out hey, here. You know, oh, for no, we said at home for three yeah, seasons. We said at home for three seasons. We, we wish it would rain on them every weekend. Texting but, those guys and laughing. Yeah. Like, what is y'all doing out there? Yeah. So, so you know. It's, and now here we are doing a little. Yeah, and, and having a good time for yep. the most part. People are asking, would you ever paint the NPK car or the OG white? Lots of guns. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I would love to. I would love to. I just don't think that it's something that we can do. Um, it it doesn't fit the brand. Like, it doesn't. At the end of the day, the, like, the car it is what it is, and I've always told everybody I'll never paint the the OG car anything other than flat. It, it, it can't be. That's just that's part of what the car and who the car is. Yeah. Uh, I could change the combination. I can change the chassis. I could change everything about that car. Uh, the color, in, in my opinion, is the one thing that I can't, but man, it would look sexy white. I know it would. Yeah. Man, put quarter panels on it that are stock instead of cut out for the big tires in white. Oh, my God. Just dead sexy. Man. Uh, Jeremy just sent some stars and asks about our new merch trailer. I knew what? Merch trailer. Oh, yeah, we got a new merch trailer. How does he know that? I, Jeremy who? Jeremy well, Melendez. Oh, huh. That's weird. It just says new merch trailer, question mark. I didn't even know that we had put that out there. Oh, we hadn't. Yes, we got a new merch trailer. Yeah. Um, Brian Martin got a new merch trailer. We bought his own. Uh, it is, it's just a nicer trailer than what ours was. Ours was, uh, it was a cover not button. outfitted. It, it, no, it ours was. Ours was just uh, wood in inside before we got everything put in it. Yeah, it was a bare bones deal that I bought all my four wheelers around. Yes. I mean, it just wasn't anything fancy. Well, and honestly, it was uh, with as many miles as what we make, and everybody who has has had any type of road trips around the country understands the type of roads that we drive on. We broke the axles. We broke leaf springs. We broke everything on our trailer. Everything. Uh, we did upgrade the axles, and we got it to where it was. It was nice. It was pretty legit. It was. It was nice when we got rid of it. Uh, the frame of the trailer is still the same as what it was. Like I'm not saying that it was junk because we never had any problems with it. Mm -hmm. But we did have wood frame uh, cubbies inside that thing. And when you try to mount them to something that flexes the way that that trailer would flex, things just come apart all the time. We found an opportunity to step into a little bit nicer, better built trailer for, for really not much money. Let's so broke the news. Did. Let's show the trailer oh, yeah, and did. that's how everybody knew. Oh, okay, let's show the trailer. Yeah, yeah. So let's even knew the problems that we had with the trailer and he gutted it and he's redoing everything in it. So they're that, doing what cool. Lutz does. Yeah, they're doing what Lutz does. They're yawning it up, cutting yeah. things, welding things up and, yeah. and, and, and making their own changes to it. So uh, he got a good deal on the trailer. I got a good deal on my new trailer. He's happy. I'm happy. Yeah. Uh, Cherish is happy with her new trailer. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I hope so. Yeah. So we actually took uh, the old fireball trailer. We are designing a wrap right now that will have the 187 customs on it and all that stuff. And it is in Tennessee at Technocraft. Technocraft getting new uh, cubbies put in. Uh, I've seen one that I would like to answer. I feel like we can officially answer it today. There's been a few people asking for Ramjack. It's back on board for 2024. Man, we just got back from Ramjack today. We went down to 801. Uh, where their facility is at, and we met with those guys and talked with them, had lunch with them, uh, and absolutely, they're exci as excited as we are. They're back on board uh, for 2024, and we're going to roll with them again. But we've said it numerous times. Did she get that door shut? <laughs> <laughs> I just maybe you should open it and slam it. Uh, 
and we're excited. You know, Ram Jack is a really good fit with us. <laughs> we enjoy hanging out with those guys. Car ramp run. <laughs> it always kills me when you say that. Say car ramp run. Say car ramp run. <laughs> he goes, oh, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> stop it, guys. You know our attention spans are, are Very this, small. this big. Um, but yes, Ram Jack is a good fit with us. Uh, we enjoy everything that they helped us out with. And, you know, we're looking forward to another season. With them. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, so, are, so okay. yes. How's this? People are asking about Shop Truck and updates and new videos about Shop Truck. Uh, this winter, whenever Sean leaves for uh, Angel Fire, I'm going to spend a week or so working on it. Uh, it's still, I've seen some people ask when will it run. It still runs. I just don't have time to go out and race it. But we took it to dinner uh, a couple weeks ago when we were home. And uh, it runs. It's fast. I just need some time to play with it. Uh -huh. Like everything else we have here. Just, it's said for uh, the OG car on a small tire. Mm -hmm. It's fast. It runs good. But could it be a lot better? Absolutely. Yep. The 55, it runs. It's on a small tire. And we had it at the track. Nope. Not once. No. Nope. Uh, the <laughs> fire donk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just yeah. going to go through them. The fire donk. Man, it hauls ass. It, man, it is a... I'm gonna throw this out there. It is a roll race king. Man, I can't. Some, uh, some, some, sorry, I'm not gonna say king. I'm sure it could. Have, I'm sure it could get beat. But man, that thing is a beast. Roll race. I'm, I'm gonna throw a number. Up. Some of y'all will know what this means and understand the significance of it. But that's a high three second sixty to one thirty car. That's that's a big that deal. Big? That that's pretty good. I mean, that car is forty five hundred pounds with Sean in it, and it just flat gets it. So it's. It's it's the real deal. I, I can't wait to roll races today. The uh, the F one hundred and fifty is actually on the dyno right now. Uh, they are getting everything lined out. Uh, they're just doing drivability right now. Uh, you know how things are. Uh, everything's gone pretty good, like they thought that it would. Mm -hmm. But basically, they're R and D in this. Yeah. No, this, this, this is, is the first one. This is, they they've done the ten L is the GM. They've done several of those. And they've done several coyotes, but this is the first coyote 10R setup that they've done. So. They're controlling. Yes. And from the the small few videos that they've sent us, man, it seems amazing. Yeah. And and Luis is and, and uh, say his name for Arcondo. Arcondo is really proud and excited of how things are going so far. Yep. Yeah. So. Pretty exciting. <laughs> so, um, Marcus Shivers asks, would you ever go back twin turbo with the new weight break with the turbo heavy? With the twin turbo heavy, sorry. No, I, I, I think I can answer that for you. Unless we built a whole new car. And well, I mean, we can't get to the weight that it would matter anyways. But let's just say hypothetically, we could get to the weight. Now, a small block or just twin turbo? Twin turbo. I mean, him, we could get to wait there. I just, go ahead. I, I, don't, I don't know that turbos will win an MPK again. If we were on a better prep surface, my answer would probably be yes. Because I do believe that turbos still have their place. And I do still love turbos. And I do still consider myself a turbo guy. Even though I had a Pro Charger before I ever had a turbo. Uh, I just think that in the surface that we have, the, the best surface that we have is 100 foot. And then after that, it, it, gets, uh, it gets iffy. Because you're still bringing power in. The car's moving around. And, and, and I... I like to use Jeff Lutz as an example because he's arguably the fastest turbo car out there. Mm -hmm. uh, Birdman's car looked pretty good a couple of times this season. It, it did. It did. Um, and Just he went back with twins, right? He did go back with twins in the middle of the season. After the break, he was yes. twins again. Okay. But one thing that you could say is, and I believe that Jeff Lutz can get to the weight. And... Taking the weight off of his car, in my opinion, made him less consistent than what he was last season. Now, him and Jeffrey may argue that fact because I don't know for sure. Just as an outsider looking in, I feel like, I mean, it is facts that Jeff didn't do as good this season. No, it is. Is, it is. is what they did last season. But I know his car was lighter this season. I know that they're making more boost and more power than they ever have. And over in Australia, his car was on it was rail. Flying. 
it was the fastest it had ever been over in Australia. And so I'm thinking the whole time we're over there, we're screwed. Jeff is going to come back over here and he is going to rule next season of MPK. And, and then he ran into some problems. And once you get behind the eight ball in MPK, you, you're definitely not jumping back ahead of the pack. Uh, I mean, Ryan didn't start off so well. He finished pretty good, but, yeah. but you, you're talking about Ryan Martin here. Yeah. Uh, he got behind the eight ball and it, and it took everything he had all season to get back to where he was. He so, but he, but he made it. Uh, but that, that's just the way that it goes. And MPK is so competitive that you get behind like we were the last two years, beating our head off the wall on something that if you compare time slips with everybody else's time slips, we had time slips that were just as fast as anybody else. We could only do it. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to give us a one out of 10. Because no, we could do it four or five we, times out of ten. We are you talking about the small ball? Yeah, I mean we still never really smoked the tires or shook or anything first round with the turbo. We no, just we 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 see a lot of runs. Yeah, we Way skated more, we, we skated around at three hundred foot. And... <clears throat> so uh, honestly, <clears throat> I'm not saying I wouldn't ever do it, but it, it's definitely not ideal. I, I would like to see someone do it though. I'd like to see someone come out and run the car the way that Mark Mickey runs his. Yes, and and see where it's at because. You know, looking at his, looking at his splits, man, that's very pro charger car ish. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if if it <clears throat> translated over to the tracks that we run on, as opposed to the nice tracks where where they're at, set more records and stuff. Yes, that's not any jab at anybody. I would just, I would seriously like to see someone come out and have Petty or someone on the laptop and and see what it could do out there. Yeah, with that being said, congratulations, Mark Mickey. Yeah, OBD. <laughs> and, and everybody that had anything to do with that, that yeah. car is out of control. Dude, that finish line video where it comes by, it, it had to be 10,000 RPM, 270 mile an hour. It's, 270 it's, mile an hour. It's insane. Look at that semi in front of you. Yeah. Or whatever that was blocking the track. Man, yeah. No, Jose didn't care, though. Uh, would you guys ever race the 55 against, I'm guessing, Street Racing Channel's 55? SRC's 55? Oh, the one that they just got? Um, mm. I don't know. I feel like even though they just got theirs, it's 100% going to be ready before mine. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, they probably I mean, don't have it on the street yeah, already. They probably already had that thing on the street and already tested it and have been tuning on it. And, yeah. Uh, if we didn't have such a crazy schedule, that – will be our plan one day is to go back and hit those same races i'm not saying same races we're not going to follow those guys around no but, but we will be at some of the yes. we will be at some of the small uh venues that that those guys race at and and mm. back hopefully back on the street at some point yeah, but, sure. but right now it's just we still keep up with it we still watch everything that they do uh we're fans of billy oh absolutely um <clears throat> I'm trying to win that yes, Kenny's giving away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're fans of all those guys. Uh, we keep up with uh, all the street racers still. You know, we, we watch uh, Casey Max's videos. We, you know, anybody that has uh, YouTube, oh, yeah. I keep up with all that. Street stuff. race channel. I still, I still like to watch all that um, because it is where my heart is. Uh, it just don't pay the bills, unfortunately. It, it does not. It doesn't pay my bills. And um, I, I do enjoy what I'm doing. But, you know, I still look back at that and uh, wish that we had time to do it. One of these days we will. Uh, I feel like we're kind of building an arsenal of cars for any type of surface or any type of event. Uh, one sure. of these days we'll have time to get them ready and hopefully we can come play with those guys again. Uh, what is going on with the Big Pete? Is it fixed? The Big Pete is fixed. It's a bad dude. Uh, a PDI put a new motor in it. New engine, new, new engine. I mean, technically, if you look it up, it's still a motor. I know people get mad about it, but it's a motor too. They call the big rig stuff. Oh. It's still a C15. Yeah. Uh, it's still a cat motor. It it did. They dyno that big bad thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. They put that big rig on their dyno, and it made 660 horsepower and it made 2100 foot pounds of torque. So you can feel it. Going up and down the hills, uh, it makes 44, 45 pounds of boost as soon as you put your foot in it. And, yeah, I know, it's a beast. Uh, even loaded down, going up and down, uh, a lot of times I don't even have to grab a gear. Yeah. Uh, so David has sent some stars and asked, what track are you looking forward to in Season 7 of MBK? 
but because we don't have the schedule, if you had to we choose. Um, I really liked, uh, you know, I, I always like going to Idaho. I do too. But I, like, I, I like really Idaho. like Phoenix. I really liked that place for some reason. Cool. I didn't like the lake that we were sitting in. It was. There was a lot of water, and it wasn't hot, but it felt like the sun was touching me. It was like 79 degrees, and the sun was just... Um, I also, I, I liked a lot of the tracks that we went to. I liked, I had, I enjoyed Martin if it wasn't that, raining. The track was amazing. Yes. Our pits just sucked. It was wet. Yeah. Um, and the car was leaning over because our projects were sinking in the mud. Yes. Yeah, no, it was just an all around bad deal. But I feel like uh, the area and, yes. and everything like that and, and the track itself was, I feel like if it wasn't raining so much, that track would have been gangster. Oh, dude. It was already pretty good. It, yes. Uh, of course, we played. It was pretty nice. Was yeah, really we nice. did. We went golfing while we were up there. So that's always a good time. Yeah. Um, there's lots of tracks that, that we like. Um, it's weird because with these cars, I could go both ways with this. <laughs> uh, I either want an amazing, amazing surface or just shit. There's really no in between with no. either. You want to know what you have. Like, it either needs to be so bad that we need to know what to do with the car or so good that we need to know with it. Not that yes. eh, it might take this. Yes. Yes. Because let's be honest, all we do is power manage the thing. Um, but it has changed a little bit having to. Even whenever we were racing the, the the OG car, we weren't looking at the weather. We weren't changing the map. We were just looking at the altitude. We weren't doing any of that stuff. With this car, we had this car almost on the ragged edge. Almost on the ragged edge enough that we have to we have to get on our uh, drag racing weather map, mm -hmm. and we have to know uh, the water grains. We have to know all that. Almost like it's a nitrous car. And that's something new to us. And that's something new to us that, that we haven't had to do in a lot of years. Turns out it's important. It is. Yeah. It is important to not hurt pistons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, Tony Gooder, Gooderum uh, asks, what are your thoughts on the Australia trip? Now that it's been past six months, what can we do better besides more money? Oh, the money. It was the boot. <laughs> what, as far, what did... Is he from there or something? I, I'm guessing. It uh, sounds like it. No, no, no. Now that we're at home, it was a, an amazing trip. Oh, I'm, sure. I'm really glad that we did it. It was a lot. It was an experience. Any, any time that, that you're away from home for, and it's not just away from home. We were on the road for eight weeks at one point this year. Travel. Yeah. There's well, a I had all my own stuff. I had the peak there sometimes, you know, when it wasn't broke down. Yeah, yeah. If not, I had my dually. Uh, I had a, a place to hang out. I had a trailer. I had all my own stuff. I could have flipped everybody the bird and left at any point whenever I wanted to, if I wanted to. Uh, when we were over in Australia, we didn't have none of that. Yes. I had my race car in a Connex, which is now mine. Yeah, it's out. It's yeah, it out. Full, of, full of parts and things. Um, but we rode in a van with everybody else. We were, we were trapped. We couldn't leave even if we wanted to. Yeah. Uh, but I'm, now that it's over, the experience was amazing. It took a long time, and everybody lost weight over there because of the food. Uh, and it's just because Americans uh, like fat. Sugar. Sugar. And everything is bad for you. Things that taste good. Yeah. We like things that taste good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, uh, but we're glad that we did it. Uh, it, it People throw this around a lot, but it was a trip of a lifetime. I know. It honestly was. Any, how many times are we going to get somebody else on somebody else's dime? Yeah. I didn't pay a dime to go over there and do this. Uh, I didn't really make anything either. Though. Yeah. <laughs> but it was for them to ship our car over there and be able to race the car that I love on another continent. Yeah, you can't I, you can't explain that yeah it's amazing that's something i'll never forget my i don't care what i do i i've i've had a pretty amazing life um i've got to do a lot of stuff in my long life 46 years, years old <laughs> 46 years old I've, I've got to do a lot of cool things in my life and that ranks right up there with, 
with the best of them. Yeah, each time that we've been out of the country has has been amazing. Uh, you know, South Africa was cool. Brazil was cool. Getting to drive the Opalas and the Dragster or whatever. But it's just different taking that car that arguably helped start this whole deal and have it on another comp and, and, nerve and, and, and doing our thing over here. Yeah. It was very, very nerve wracking. The whole time it was on a, a container, we saw the memes come out. <laughs> yeah. uh, containers were falling. They're just falling off in the ocean. And I'm going, oh no, this is probably going to happen. I mean, and luckily nothing happened to our car. Everything went amazingly. Uh, I still feel bad for Robin Roberts because that was his first car too that he took over there. Yes. And, and unfortunately it got crashed. So. Uh, any plans to better your personal best in the OG? Uh, I don't know that I'll better it in the OG with on small tires, but uh, I would like to drive this one behind me at some point. Yeah. I, I want to go We through. actually had planned on him making a pass in it in Texas this season. Uh, but that was whenever we thought that that was the last race. Yeah. And that was also before we put three pistons in the motor. We put three pistons in the motor in Ennis. Um, we put one in before we ever even made a pass. Uh, warmed the car up. It's chugging oil out of cylinder number five, zooming. Uh, and then whenever I put it up on the two-step, it broke the blower drive. So we pulled the blower drive off, fixed that, pulled the head off, put a piston in it. And then, uh, you know, went testing, went to the grade eight. And then after the grade eight, we put two more pistons in it before saturday yes. so there just really wasn't time for me to do anything with it and then two passes later we broke the crank yes yes there's that and everything surrounding the crank so oh yeah everything we'll uh we'll probably touch on that on a youtube video we, we he'll drive it again at some point i don't know when but I, i'm um i know it's not smart for me to put him in that car Let, let's just be honest uh that is right now that is our livelihood not only my livelihood my family's livelihood and his life. Yeah, <laughs> no, it pays all of our bills. <laughs> it pays, it pays my sanity. All of our bills. Yeah. Um, with that being said, we are not the smartest. No, it'll make and a cool video. We will put him <laughs> back in that car at some point. Yeah. I'm not worried about him hitting the wall or something like, because if he does, that shit can be fixed. Um, but we'll let him sub one second, 60 foot. Let him shit his pants a little we'll bit. Black out. Uh, you know, he's going to, what I happened? Like, what happened to <laughs> sleep? You know, I feel like I know my limitations. Hell, it took me 15 passes before I went to the stripe in that car. So it's not like you I'm going to do it in one. <laughs> because after the first one, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm, I might be rethinking he's gonna, this. I'm going to go over there and it's just going to be gone. There's going to be an in-car video of that. And Sean's going to really analyze that video and make sure I'm good to go to the stripe. I, we, we've seen what happens when we put somebody in a car that is not ready. And uh, it doesn't ever turn out good. I, I don't believe that he won't. He's ready. He just doesn't know he's not ready yet, I think would be the problem. And by then, it'd be over. Yeah. It'd be over by then. Okay. You, you had already done it. Yeah. So yeah. I, I know he can drive. I'm not worried about that. Uh, but you got to think, uh, I also know that my dad can drive. I've watched my dad drive lots of stuff. <laughs> I learned a lot of wheeling from my dad, you know, and... Hey, maybe it's an age thing, but he gets in the 55 and he just, he just wasn't comfortable in the car and I should have caught him. I should have caught that he was nervous. I should have caught that he he wanted to be in it. Yeah. So it wasn't that he didn't want to be in it. He yeah. just, uh, he ran out of talent. Yep. And it happens. Yes. So not anytime soon, but soon. At some point, he'll race. Uh, we have a lot of people asking what's going on with the F-150. Is it ready to race? Like... What are we doing with it? Mm -hmm. Ready to race? Like, what's going on? I'm gonna take the track and just make a few passes in it, see see what kind of numbers it'll put down, and then after that, I don't care about racing it at the track. Uh, yeah, I mean, anything that I ever did with the man van, basically, whenever I bought, whenever I sold the man van, I bought that. It started earlier than that. Uh, the Midnight Performance guys came down to Oklahoma and they brought those trucks with them. On the 405 ship. Uh, on the 405 ship. And I'm going to be honest with you, man. Uh, impressive. They were impressive. I was impressed with the Coyote. I was impressed with the, the four-wheel drive. I was impressed with everything about those trucks. Uh, Manuel Gomez and those guys ha have that figured out. They've been, they've been living that life for a long time mm -hmm. with those trucks. And, you know, Mustangs and 
Oh, in other in other. Uh, yeah, no, they don't have trucks, stuff. but their trucks are impressive. Their, their their trucks are stupid fast, and so when they left, I thought next time they come up here with all those all wheel drive trucks, I'm gonna have something for them. Uh, and it just doesn't look like the that that show is gonna pan out anymore. So I got rid of the man van, and I thought this F one fifty is going to replace the man van. So everything that I ever did with the man van, which was race it in local drag and drive stuff. Yeah, yeah drag and drive stuff. We'd cruise it around on Saturday nights and then go street race at night. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's basically what I'm going to do with the Ford. Uh, four wheel drive stuff so controversial anyways uh, that most of the races don't allow them anyways. No, I, I always bitched about it. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> and it was a bitcher of the four-wheel drive. Not anymore, though. I'm there's, the there's, 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 there's a fence right here in the middle, yep. and there's no in-between. Nope. If there is an in-between, I feel like I was always on it because there's the people who absolutely not shouldn't let four-wheel drives in, and then there's people over here going, but why? What have they won? <laughs> yeah. And I kind of feel like I was on that side of the what have they done? Yeah. Uh, anything that's all wheel drive it is not going to be consistent, in my opinion. No, but and, and you let one in. Oh, yeah, no, you let one in, you let them all in. Then you're gonna, the one guy is gonna one figure it out. One guy is gonna do it. Yep. Uh, it even, even the Midnight for Performance trucks, those things torque steer so bad, and they've got a handle on them, they've been in them a lot, they've made a lot of passes in them, uh, and they, it, from what I saw. They didn't abort a lot of runs, mm -hmm. but they also didn't win nothing. Not saying they didn't win nothing. No. I'm saying they, they didn't win everything. Right. They, uh, they won some races. They've won. They lost some, some races, too. They've yeah. won some big money grid races. They lost oh, definitely. Money grid races definitely. For sure. So it, it's like anything else. It, it's, it's not foolproof. So either you're the guy who says, I'll race any all-wheel drive, or you're the guy that bitches and says all-wheel drive shouldn't be in my class. Uh, but it does make sense that four tires are going to look yeah. better than two, <laughs> especially if it's the same size tire. Yeah, and just for the record, I'm only against it if it's not my buddy or much yeah. other than that. So let's bring the four wheel drives on now. Yeah. So, so that's what we'll do with it. We'll cruise it around a lot, and, and it's never going to be anything. Uh, everybody's like, "Are you going to try for the the record with the 10R?" And no, well, I can't. There's, it's not even going to be possible because mine's always going to have air conditioning it's always going to have full interior it's always going to be full weight truck uh it, it's going to weigh 4400 pounds yeah like and, and there's nothing that i can do about that or nothing that i want to do about that i have plenty of race vehicles i've got a a 55 that's a race car i've got two gutted out novas that are race cars yes uh i don't want this to be a race car i want this to be a fast driver Phantom, how many pairs of shoes do you have? I, I have a lot of shoes. Uh, you don't know how many? I don't. <laughs> like I really, the ballpark? Over 65 pairs. Uh, you think so? I counted I mean, them. Okay. I counted them. Okay, Mallory says over 65 pairs. <laughs> I, I have a lot of shoes. It's, it's, I have like five pairs. It's dumb, but I have, I have a lot of pairs that I've never even taken out of the box. I ain't got some Jordan 4s, though. Oh, dude, they are sick. You you me, I said, did you send Phantom a picture? They go, yeah. Yeah, you know? they were sick. And he was so stoked about it. Dude, hey, I, so I told him the other day, I said, he said, you should get some Jordan 4s. I go, what for? If I ever need to go hoop it up, I got some right here. <laughs> I, I told Aaron I was going to lace them up and send him a picture. And oh, man. Jeremy, Jeremy asked me if I wanted to come play, hey, play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you hope you don't mind if I wear these. Because yeah. he don't ask me if he can wear my Oh, He just comes in there and gets me. He would trip out. Yes, I, I have a lot of shoes. Um, someone just said all wheel drive Civic from the show versus the truck. Oh, that thing was fast. That thing was fast. There ain't no the guy that out. won. The guy that won the day. And that's the one guy that you let in. <laughs> yeah. that, 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 that you let one guy in and there's going to be somebody fast. That all wheel drive Civic was, it was out of control fast. Yep. Uh, but it asked me if I'd let him in again. Yes. I, would. I mean, he, you know, it was fast, but it was right there about the times that we all were expecting to run. Yeah. No, it, I'm telling you right now, man, I 100% believe that Doc would have outran him if he would have been sleeping on the line. No doubt about it. So there's that. I mean, it was a photo finish as it was. And then, hell, Doc let him leave. Uh, what baseball parts have you guys gone during the last MPK tour? Uh, we only got to go to one this year, didn't we? Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? 
I thought you had something to go to. What time is it? Um, which one did we go to this year? We went to the Twins. We went to the Twins. The Twins game? That was it this year. Oh, we went, uh, we went with Mitch to oh, the, Denver. We watched the, the Cubs play. Yep. Watched our boy. Yep. You know, come in, get the save. Yeah, that was cool. Hit that dude and then got the save. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he, sometimes you got to assert dominance, man. Yeah, yeah. So Michael Fulmer is a friend of ours, and he just uh, got traded over to the Cubs. Uh, I watched him play whenever he was with the, the Detroit Tigers. Uh, he got traded over to the Cubs, and he happened to be at Wrigley the night that we were – I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, at Denver. Sorry, I'm a Cubs fan. Mile high. Uh, he, he was at Denver. Uh, and so we stayed after Vandermeer. It's what, two nights after? Yes. So it was Monday night game. Yes. And we went and watched. Well, he just got back from the injured list. Yeah, he was coming he off rehab. He wasn't even supposed to yes. pitch that night. Yes. He came in uh, to, to, for the save, and he got the save and got the win, yeah. and it was amazing. Yeah, it was cool. So, yes. Is it just those two? That, that's the only two we went to this year. We went to uh, – Cincinnati and Wrigley the year before. And Boston. And Boston. I was like, it was cool to be there. I was super disappointed. So tiny, wasn't comfortable. Yeah. You know, sometimes we don't get a chance to do it. And then sometimes uh, it just doesn't happen to fall uh, on a home game to where we're close to. Uh, it, it's, it's really got to be the perfect us passing through yeah. and there being a ball game there that night for, for that to happen. So, yep. what else? Uh, last question. Um, last question, that's it. I mean, y'all, you want to stay longer? Whatever. No, I'm good, whatever. Um, no. Oh, do you mean to get the first look? No. Yeah, what about her? Uh, Lily has asked if you still have the bracelet that she gave you in edits. Yes, no, I'm sure it's right there in my trailer. I, I, I have a lot of those. Uh, not necessarily a lot of bracelets, but actually I got... Two little girls gave me bracelets this year. But there's other people that give me things. And, yeah, I put them in the drawers of, of my stacker. Uh, I actually – I remember this one. Was this the girl that gave me the green one? There's two different – Her name is Lily, and she was an Ennis. Okay, Ennis. I'm trying to remember if Ennis was the green one. Anyways, I did wear it, you know. Unfortunately, I lost first round. Oh, uh, yeah. First time all year that I lost first round. And man, Robin Roberts. He, he was rolling. <laughs> He like I got out there and said, Alvin, Alvin said, hang on, watch yeah, this. Excuse me while I'm going to do that. So, so we lost that. You see it? Whatever. But, yes, I absolutely do still have that, and thank you very much. Uh, Blastworks LLC, the progress on the Mustang is it's being progressed on. We'll be in touch with you shortly. Blastworks, the guy that blasted the wagon. Oh, yeah. So is he going to come down and bust them? Right on. Whatever you say. Yeah, um, yeah no, Dad, we got to figure out. Whenever you're not ready, this should go on. Yes. Um, do we know about the small tire show? Any of the other shows? Are they coming back next year? We 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 we're in the dark just as much as anybody else. Uh, we don't really know what's going on at Discovery. Uh, things are just weird right now. But no, this is the first year that we have not filmed any other show except in PK. So you know, take it for what it is. But kind of what we do. Yeah. What else? Anything? Some, some, yeah, some of these people. <laughs> no good? No. How was it going 430s in OG? It was amazing. 430s? Yeah. Is that what you went? 430? 430. 430. I, I, I when are you guys going to start testing for NCT? Yeah, you're not going to go faster than that uh, in the small yeah. battery dips. When are we going to start testing? Mm -hmm. As soon as possible. Uh, right now, uh, unfortunately, the... <laughs> The motor in the car, the MH7, is a total loss. Uh, we broke the crank against Kai uh, in the last race of the season, uh, which, for the record, had nothing to do with uh, the staging war that no, Kai had. No. Which, honestly, I should have done that a few times earlier in the season. It was but fun. It, it, was, it was a good time, <laughs> and I was going to wait it out. Unfortunately, the, the motor couldn't handle it anymore, uh, and it came apart. So the short block is a total loss on that MH7, so we will have to uh, find the money to come up with another one. Yes, um, which hopefully we have found some of it and hopefully we can secure enough of it to maybe even have a spare one somehow, some way. Yeah. 
We've got the trailer all through our park right now, trying to do upgrades to that. Because if we don't make it to the race, because we got no trailer breaks and we have blowouts and we're sitting on the side of the road, we don't make it to the race. So, yes. Who's the better golfer? I'll fan for sure. Sean, Sean probably hits the ball further. I, I mean, you put us together and we're one pretty decent golf. Yeah. Yeah, because when my drive goes straight, it goes a long ways. But as far as consistency, I'm kind of like the turbo car. <laughs> Phantom is kind of like the pro charge car. Yeah. He's going to go down the middle pretty much every time. And he still outdrives most people. But if I hit the ball well and he hits the ball well, mine probably goes 20 yards. That, that's it. But I would take his consistency any day over my, I have no idea which way it went. Mine, I hit the ball, but where did it go? Yeah. My mid-range is decent. And Sean's putting is pretty good. Yeah. So, so, and basically, most of the time when we beat up on uh, Preston and Jeremy, our two buddies, yeah. which, by the way, we asked them to go golfing this week, and they were scared, I guess, we didn't hear back. Well, no, they invited us, and then you said, yep, say when, and then it was crickets. Still uh, scary asses. Yeah. So, we, we, we normally scramble, and so I feel like that's what I, I just always assume he's going to have a good second shot. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, how's the Mustang build going? Uh, it's really not. Uh, it's it's on a rotisserie, and Dad will start on the bodywork. He's right now. He's cutting out any type of rust and fixing any of that stuff. Uh, but he still works on other cars. It, it's not like that's his full time job. But that's the only thing he's got going. So it, it won't take long. And yes. this is the the earliest start that we have had on any bodywork. Yes. The wagon, that took us a while, but luckily we had a couple of years to build that. Yes, and, well, and luckily too, because that car is hard to find parts for. So, and also, I believe it was a lot more custom than, yes. than what we're doing now. Yes. But there's still some stuff that we need to do. Honestly, if you look at any of the builds that we've done, there's certain things that every one of them things still need. Uh, the back window doesn't work on the on the wagon, and that's something that. Uh, I got to work. That's that's the coolness of the clamshell is being able to open and close. And the tailgate works, but I don't have the right parts that I need to get the window to work. Uh, other than that, the wagon is pretty much done. Yeah. It, uh, the scout needs. It, we still need to regear it. We need to regear it because it, it doesn't. It's a handful driving it down. Yeah. Uh, the blue dog. We honestly, whenever we put the injectors in it, we didn't have the tune up right. We washed the rings. Need to pull the motor out and put the rings in. Yes. And so there's certain things on all of them. Uh, and the white car is just pretty ready, though. The fire dog? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty ready. Yeah. We, we got uh, real for it, though. It should be good. It should yeah. Be good in that. Yeah. So we had it on the dyno at Fuel Tech and had an electrical issue, cost us from finishing it, but that's all we fixed, and it's just pretty much been set on go. Probably take it with us when we go test the F 150. It'd be nice. If we have time. Yeah. Um, we're probably going to go out to the storage shed tomorrow and get the fire donk and the, the, scout. the scout. The two red and white vehicles that we have. And Phantom's going to take the scout somewhere this weekend. And I'll, I'll start getting the fire donk ready. And hopefully we'll have a chance to uh, get it out on the track and kind of see where we're at with it. Yep. See if we can't go fast with we, it. We, we have... We have an idea of what it should run or a goal of what it should run. Now we just need to make it happen. So, what else? Uh, people are asking about actually donk racing. Have you done any donk racing lately? I have not. We haven't. It's, it's like everything else that we do, man. I, I'd love to go. Uh, but at, at this point, we're so behind the curve on that whole game. Yeah. I mean, I, I hate to be the guy that comes in with steps, but now. The donk game is there's there's well even three years ago you could just go race and they all set real close to the well, now there's heavyweights now there's heavyweights yeah full frame cars there's chassis cars there's you know I mean look at the donkzilla car you know it's yeah it, it, there's they're out of control and of course I can't run with those guys uh, I'm gonna have to uh, have a full interior car that sets like me it, it's it sucks but yeah that's just how it is. Uh, any more plans for international racing? If they tell us that's where we're going. I, I, I've heard, I've heard some. Uh, they said that they liked uh, Australia. They were happy with the ratings. They were happy with how everything went down. 
uh, I've heard that we might do it again at some point, and uh, I'm on board with it. I'm all for it. Let's do it. You don't think for that it's come up like 50 what times. What? What? Um, he's asking about. What about? No, I, I, I don't know. They just keep asking. Um, How tall are you? Six, three and a half. Still got the tea type? I do. I might take that this weekend, honestly. That's such a cool car. It is. And it has a heater. Yeah. So, <laughs> look, I got to do things to make the wife happy. Uh, she is a person that does not like the cold, even though she loves the mountains and we're going snow, snowboarding. Right. Um, for two weeks, we're going snowboarding. So anyway, she does not like the cold. She doesn't like her hands to be cold. So I have to take something that has a heater. Uh, so that narrows it down to the wagon has a heater. Oh, yeah. That, that thing was kicking the other day. Yeah, but you'd have to stop 14 times. Oh, yeah. no. Thanks, Jake. We need to fix all that. No. Um, that is one thing we need to do with the wagon. The wagon only has a nine gallon fuel cell for the record. Didn't really work out. It was supposed to be 12. Hell, I thought it was supposed to be 20. 12 better than nine. Yeah. Um, and so we got to take something that has a heater. It's supposed to be cold on Sunday. What? No, I don't want to take cold. Just put gloves on. Um, Anything else, sir? Um, no, we, uh, just say we're going to be doing this more frequently. So we can yeah, I mean, this is something we'll probably do more frequently. Um, Jake just said, can I get a white murder Nova hat for Christmas? <laughs> no. Phantom said it's coming. <laughs> you haven't got that yet? Oh, Jake. <laughs> Jake, yeah. that Jake, yeah. yes. You know, the one that asked about a white <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought the guy who said the nine-gallon kill sale was watching. Oh, no, no, no. No, the one that asked for a white hat every year. Yeah. Man, I can't believe he ain't got that here. It should be well, it, I mean, if it makes me feel any better, no one has. So yeah, but then he saw Hayden in that one, remember? Oh, thanks, bud. Uh, we'll do this more often. Um, we'll we'll be a little more organized and have some more stuff to talk about, well, possibly. And... Because we we actually hired Mallory, so um, Mallory will come in here and do all the stuff that me and Phantom don't have time. Uh, that should do a couple of things for you guys. It should give you, it should give us more videos. It should give us better content on our pages. And it should give us, uh, like I told her to come in here once a week. Like I'm going to be gone for two weeks here next week, but, yeah. and we'll try to do one more of these maybe next week before I leave. But uh, she's going to come in and she's going to make us do this stuff whether or not we want to or not. Even if we're right in the middle of working, I don't care, it, I will work and talk. I'll oh, yeah. probably screw up whatever I'm working on. Either way. But either way, I was gonna probably screw it up anyway. Well, yeah, at least they can tell us about it. Yeah. They could be like, oh no, we told you on your live feed that you didn't find <laughs> yeah. that bolt. So, and, and I'm totally fine with that. And we've said this for a long time, we would give you guys way more content if we just had somebody around that was filming. But I have over the years gave Phantom more and more jobs Every time we do something, uh, I, I look around to, to, to hand it off to one of my guys. <laughs> and he's the only person that's around. So he got more and more jobs every year. It's going to help out next year if Aiden doesn't go to college, that he's going to go with us. So Aiden will be able to hold a camera or he'll be able to help us. Uh, but as of right now, Mallory is going to make us do the things that we should do that we never have time or by the time we get done busting our ass from fixing whatever we have broke, we're too tired. Well, we don't, we don't want to do it. Well, and she's kind of a stickler, so she's going to make us do it too. And, so. and, and that's what it's going to take. That's what it has to have. Has to have. So. so, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll do these more often. We'll, we'll talk more about stuff that may not always be a question and answer. We may just sit down and BS and Tell them what we got going on or, or whatever it may be. Sometimes the sitting down and BS and gets us in trouble. It did that. Because I really don't have any limits. So I don't feel like there's anybody that I need to answer to. So that thing that most people have between your brain and your mouth that tells you don't say that, Sean lost his. Well, I've got a good mom. No doubt about it. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt about it. What? She's mom's in there? Yes. I believe it. She's, yeah. she's telling people what no to do. different than I am. She will say anything that comes to her mind, no filter. 
know anything. I, I for sure got that from Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Um, and it's not a bad thing. Not always, anyways. It's funny all the time. Yeah. Sometimes it's frustrating. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but my mom is always funny. Uh, yeah. What yeah. else? Um, even though I'm looking like I'm reading it. Yeah, is this, is this going to be posted so we can watch the replay? Yeah, of course. It'll, it'll be on the YouTube channel. I'm sure it'll get saved to the Facebook What's page. What's uh, You have a limit. We can get any comment on Chief. What's that mean? I don't. Do you, I'm sure he means do you have something that says you can't talk about the situation? Oh, uh, no, there's no situation. Yeah. Like, I hope the best for him. It's just I, I haven't talked to him in three, four years. Yeah. Since he's doing he's doing his own thing. I'm doing my own thing. You know, uh, the, the the best way that I can put it uh, uh, with me and Chief's relationship is that uh, people in America get divorced every day, and that's what happened. You sponsored by simple, right? Yeah. No, I mean that's simple that's enough. that's that's what happened. Are you sponsored by Hey Dude yet? No. Be nice if someone's watching, but he is wearing. I got some Hey Dudes on right now, though. They asked how the hammer toe was doing. Man, great. It is actually my shortest toe now. <laughs> uh, this is kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, and there, so many people are like, you don't have flip flops on. No, I'm, I'm embarrassed of my ugly toe now. Uh, my toe <laughs> is, I used to have pretty feet. Yeah. I used to have pretty feet and now I do not. I have one toe that is my, so my second, it's like my finger now. It's like my hand like this. Yeah. This is my big toe. And then my second toe is longer than my big toe now. And it is only like that on one foot because they took the joint out. When they took the joint out, it shortened my whole toe. Yes. Kind of weird. Hey, it was super gross looking on, at first. Too. On, on the, the, the better side of this thing is my snow boots fit a lot better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be a hammer toe, so it was really big, and it hurt in my snow boots. Yeah. And now it's shorter, and there's not that hammer toe on it. It feels amazing. Man, I wish you had your new snow boots out here to show them. Oh, I do. My new snow boots. Sean, Sean can talk about me having shoes, but he's kind of, he's getting there. Yeah, him and Aiden are transforming me over into, uh, I don't have any dunks. You see, it's crazy present. Yeah. Are those, he got me some dunks. Yeah. Are those dunks that you're wearing? Yeah. He's got the Fruity Pebbles dunks on right now. Yeah. So did you, did you say you got Jordan snow boots? I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. He got Jordan snow boots. Yeah, Jordan okay. ones. You got no dunks. No, I don't have any dunks. I know. Wait. The green shoes that I have, the SBs, I don't, I don't know how people can wear those. I gave them another shot the other night at your basketball game. They're just not comfortable. My uh, J's are pretty comfortable now. I've got, I've got your shoes from I wonder what I bought myself. <laughs> people are asking about the little wing. Huh? People are asking about the little wing. The about, little... No, I'll talk about that, but I, yeah. but I never saw it. So yeah. it, it, I, why is it not on the car anymore? Is I, don't, I don't know. I never saw it either. But I, I've heard people, it. people talk I, about it. I've heard a lot of people talk about the little wing on my car. Uh, so I don't know if maybe the safe pair people seen them and I, didn't I, I, I 100% would have been cool with that being on. Yeah. Like, I'm totally fine with it. Uh, but they were. We, we love all the guys over at Nitrous Express. Uh, we've been with Nitrous Express for a long time. Yeah. They they are. It's a, our, it's a Tom our, Gunner thing. Yes, it, it is. he does the little yes. wing and. But he yeah. does actually work. Yeah, yeah. Express yeah, no, he's right. a he's a like an outside sales guy or something like that. But yeah, yeah. Hey, and I'm totally fine with that. If, if if I get why he didn't ask me to do it because it's kind of the thing where you just go put it on somebody's yeah. car. If I would have saw it, I wouldn't have taken it off for the record. Yeah. So, but I but I did never see it. Uh, so if somebody has a picture of it, did anybody get it? Have you seen I have not seen a picture. I have not seen, seen people event. talk about yeah. it. I haven't seen a picture. I've of seen it. questions left and right. I've not seen a picture yet. Uh, you know, I, I guess I did if a video. I, was on him, it. I would want it on my car too, considering that would have been the fastest thing that he's ever had in his way. Because you don't have a like, 23 degree small ball. <laughs> <laughs> look, Tom, if I had a 23 degree headed small block, it probably wouldn't be as fast as yours. Yeah. So. Oh, they apparently. Uh, Chibi Dale posted the video, so. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I might have to watch it. Yeah. I do watch some of his videos, too. Not, I'm not like a, every time I see one come out. You're, you're not a Jimmy Daly? No, no, I'm not a Jimmy Daly. Because, you know, we've had it. We've been like this before. Oh, yeah. You know, and uh, he, he's one of those guys that gets on your nerves. But 
it's kind of his MO. It is. <laughs> and, and, and I don't dislike the dude. Even yeah. even whenever all that stuff happened, I didn't dislike him. Uh, I was talking to Boosted this last weekend at PRI, and I told Boosted, man, remember how mad you used to make me? Uh, you know, he's like, no, I remember. Remember that one time you wanted to drive to Dallas to chug me out? I was like, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You know? Because come to find out, though, he's not—he's probably not that easy to choke out. No, he's—he's he's he's pretty, he's pretty, he's pretty wily. <laughs> no, and Boost is like Boost is so intelligent that he can—he can do it just so easy. Because man, man he's just—he's good at it. He's he real good at he it. He is. So whenever he's doing it to somebody else, I always go. Oh. <laughs> 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 because I've been on the other side of his intelligent, <laughs> smart-ass <laughs> remarks before. Yep. We love you, bitch. Yo. Um, Phantom, why is your name Phantom? Uh, to make a long story short, from Danny the Phantom cartoon, from the cartoon. Yeah. Danny Phantom. Um, How fast Nova go in Australia? Boosted what? Thank you. We had a fight. What's that mean? How fast did I go in Australia? Yeah. Um. Boosted what? Thing? I don't. We understand. don't know. We don't know. We never got any time slips. The only time slip that I got was a 490. Yeah. And we that was our baseline from our f- second pass. Man, when we got over there, the first pass off the trailer. <laughs> this is embarrassing. We went like a 513s. Yeah. It was crazy. The air was so much different over there. That, and, and you wouldn't have thought that it would have been. Because of that, or our tune-up was just way off. Yeah. Because our, our, we had to pull, how much fuel do you think we ended up pulling? We ended up pulling like 35% of fuel out of that deal. Out of the motor to get it happy. Uh, so every track that we went to, we just pulled more and more fuel. That first track that we went to, uh, whenever we actually lost to... Oh, the, the, the Toronto? That cool little Toronto, yeah. yeah. And, the, and the guys that drove it were cool too. Uh, we never went faster than a 490 at that track. Uh, which then after that, we went two, three tenths faster. Yeah, which is crazy because when we were testing the car to go out to Mega Cash Days here in Oklahoma, the very first pass ever on 28th, we tripped and fell. And, and went a lot faster. We went over a tenth faster than that. Yeah. yeah. Um, how many wins and losses in Australia? 13 and... 13 and three. It was, it was a good run. Yeah. I mean, can you count one of them, though? We lost to Zapia. Yeah, I mean... Really, I, I count, and, we and, and then the other car was a big tire car, but we also smoked the tires. Yes. I let go of the button, and the car didn't move, and I went, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to catch you. Man, you were, though. I like, did. I know. The, I know. The from the stands. Like, yeah. Um, the 187, I mean, that's kind of what we're doing right now is the 187 podcast. Yeah. So, I watched the video that came out last night. Um, the one where Our I was stupid, and I didn't have any oil pressure. Yes. The race between me and Kai. And that's the first oh. time I have not had. I've watched that race a couple of times, like more than a couple of times, because watch it on after I screen. get out running, dude, watching it on the big screen is way different. It was so close. I, like, I would I like to know the margin of victory. If someone has that time slip, just show us the MOV at the man, end. It was close. It was yeah. so close. Uh, to, to kind of elaborate a little bit on other plans uh, for the car, one of the plans that I didn't really, I talked about it a lot. I didn't cry about it. I didn't complain about it. It was our fault. Um, I don't believe that our pecker extender worked at all this year. <laughs> I think the front end of my car was so high, uh, which for you people that actually know how that whole system works, you mm-hmm. The, the, the people who are going to get on there and go, oh, that's bullshit. That thing was still tripping. Uh, the, the, the beams at the end of the racetrack that, that trip to, to clock your car are between five and seven inches off the ground. Right? Yes. Okay. This is the research that we did. They said... I went and measured a several. Yes. They were all between five and seven. That's what they said. Anywhere between five and seven inches. We have a laser beam... We have a laser beam on the front of the car. Laser beam. <laughs> on the front of our car. Laser beam. And we did the math. And going through the finish line, my front end was 11, 11 and a half inches off the ground. Yes. We're, we're missing it by a little bit. We're missing it by we, a little bit. We, we put, put the splitter on the front of the car, and we thought this is going to... Well, because everyone told us, oh, it's going to bury the front of the car. And we're like, yeah. Yeah. And, and it moved it an inch. 
Uh, so after that, I, I still don't know that we ever tripped the thing with the front end. And if it was 11 inches and you actually look at everything, then that means that a lot of the tracks, we were tripping them with the front tires, mm -hmm. not even the front bumper. Yes. So that is on us. Uh, we can't necessarily put weight on the nose of the car, but we can change the four link setup to push the front end down about half track. Yes. And that's what we need to do. If we'd have had more time to test, and, and I'm not blaming it on anybody but myself, anything that, that happens with this program, my car, my team, it, it's all always on me, no matter what. Uh, Phantom could not gap the spark plugs and put them in. That's still on me. Now I might fire somebody for not doing their job, yeah. but that's still overall on me. Uh, so we will test more. We will get that right, and we will use the pecker extender. I did see somebody last night on the on the YouTube said, "Why don't you just put the pecker lower?" I, I seen you reply to that one. Yes, you you can't do that because it has to be three inches off the ground, and it turns into a thing like Robin, and then it turns into, <laughs> and then it turns into a big thing if it's too low. Uh, then you get protested. Uh, it did happen this year. Uh, you'll, I'm sure you'll, I'm sure oh, it's going to be good. I'm sure that's a big thing that yeah. they're going to show on TV. And, and it did have, Robin was involved. Man. Uh, it, and it's going to be a big thing, but you, you can't get them any lower. There's, there, there's a, a, a go, no go that they have yep. and they slide it underneath. And if it even touches your pecker extender, they will take away the points allegedly you're, you're from that race oh did they take everything away i don't know so like another guy just said move it closer to the ground you like you you literally can't like it must maintain three inches while going down the track so you know the the even going down the track the car settles so it actually has to start higher and because when you pull the parachutes and you hit the brakes the front end will come down yes and then you got to make sure that it comes back up and it doesn't always do that Yes, so... Oh, here's Kenneth Williams, the guy who gave us the uh, convertible out. Oh. Um, so, yeah, even, you know, if we go to the track and test and the, the four-link doesn't do what we hope it does, which... He sent a picture of Jimmy Bell watching him. Yeah. Oh, that's... Uh, Poland. Yeah. Poland or whatever his name is. So, even if the four-link doesn't work the way we think it should or the car isn't as fast, then we'll do something to the pecker to make it trip the finish line beam. Whatever we got to do this year, we're not running into losing races like that again. But we're, the, the key here is to test before the season, and which is, is what we didn't get to do last season. We didn't make a full hit until Ohio. The first race of the season, first race of the season was our first full pass. That was the only pass. The first pass that we made under power to the finish line was at the first race. So... Yes. We won't, we won't let that mistake happen again. Um, I could sit here and blame it on all kinds of stuff, but like I said, it's on me. Yeah. Um, no, I don't still have any drag benches. There's even more complaining there than in the real race car world. What's that? A uh, guy asked several times if I had a drag bench still. I do not. Oh, yeah. Um, how much does a car separate going down the track? Zero. That's part uh, of the problem. It, it used to. Is that it, guy a chassis? He must be. He's a he's a moron. Oh, he that gets, star means he's a moron. He gets out and works. Um, so, no, we we don't extend this year. We did in years past, and that's how we tried to keep the front down with the turbo car. That's how we got the front end to stay yes. the turbo car. And then once we went to this, uh, this thing, let, let's just be honest, this thing does not make the power that my turbo car did out there. No. No, it does not. So... With that being said, the turbo car kept on coming up as we went down the track. We really thought that this one would not. It did. And for some people, it doesn't. But yeah. with the way that we had our setup, it did. So oh, this is the guy that was at uh, PRI that asked all the questions at y'all's Q&A. Oh, the truck driver. Yeah. Yep. He said PR, PRI question guy here. Yep. 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 I know uh, that dude. Yep. Do I look like Fulmer? I don't look like Fulmer. No, you just got a beard and he's got a beard. Yeah. It's like saying all fat people look the same. You saying Fulmer's fault? No, I'm saying I am. People uh, say he's good. Um, that it? Yeah, I mean, we've been here over an hour. It's called the Peckers. Pecker Gate.
Would I ever build a new MPK card and stuff? Yeah, would you ever build an MPK card? If so, God dang, said people are rolling. Oh, a lot of people. Uh, would you ever build an MPK card? If so, what the Mustang would make a badass MPK card? Which Mustang? Oh, the Mustang. The, the Mustang. I, I mean, it would, but I mean that's what Jerry Bird just said. So different year, but oh yeah, yeah. No, they're cool cars for sure. Yeah, no, Jerry uh, Bird's car is amazing. It's not a Mustang guy, guys. It's like, and and if I. I, I haven't even ever really thought about building another MPK car or what it would be because I have two that are nervous. So I remember at one time before you built this car, you talked about doing the 55 or a 55. Mm -hmm. And then it just, it didn't make sense for the brand. Everybody knows that my favorite car is a, is a 55 Chevy. And uh, I saw somebody whenever we won the, the best looking MPK car, what was a, yeah, the best looking. Was it best looking? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how he, what he did. Uh, I saw somebody on there even said, hell, Sean doesn't even think his car's the best looking MPK car. And, you know, it's my favorite. My car's my favorite MPK car. But, yeah, 55 55. Ooh, yeah. That baby's sick. I love him. <laughs> I didn't think that said, is your dad retired? That's not what I thought it said. <laughs> yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> Oh, that too. <laughs> Retired. Yeah. Uh, um, no, he's not. He still works out in the shop every day. Uh, he still takes in some some cars that he does on the side and stuff. That man is 70 years old. And I, I don't know how he does it. He plays softball. He does body work all day long, every single day. Like, you know, he is impressive, to say the least. Like, I hope I'm half as active as him whenever I'm, if I, if I live that long. What do you think of Justin's MPK car? I, I, I like it. Uh, looks a lot like Birdman's. <laughs> uh, hey, he knows that. Oh, he knows I know that. He, he, they've I gave know him, they've gave him, you know, hell for it already. Uh, it's a good looking car. Uh, I'm, I'm a, a 69 fan for sure. And uh, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I don't know anything about it, but uh, same guys that built that built Kai's car. Yeah. So that's got to stand for something. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, he's, he's, uh, you can say one thing about Swanster, man, is he is dedicated. He, the uh, dude is out hustling. He's out doing everything that he can to, to, to make this work. And he puts in the work. Hey, he say, say what you want about Justin, love him or hate him either way. He's been amazing for the street outlaws brand. In my opinion, um, he gets it. He knows how to get people engaged. He knows how to get people involved. Like, he gets his whole deal and yep. props to him for sure. Because, you know, at first people kind of thought he was one of those guys that was just coming in and expected everything. And yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, but, let's be honest. If it wasn't for the Australia trip, I, I may still think that about him. But uh, ever since Australia, man, we, we love his whole family. We, we, we think that they're, they're good. They're good for the sport. Even before, I'm not saying I've never not liked him. Yeah. Before we, I considered him a friend and his dad. Yeah. We still acknowledged that Absolutely. they were good for MPK. Absolutely. Because, I mean, he's always out there promoting the brand. He's like, everything he does is for MPK. Like, Dude, there's, there's so much happening. bad mouthing that we could do. Let's be honest. We could, we could bad mouth. Just like anybody who has a job, they could, they could bad mouth it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not good for the brand to do that, especially when somebody who is an ambassador for that brand yeah. is out there bad mouth. So, and, and he gets that. He, he's, I've never heard him say anything bad. He, uh, he's good for the sport, in my opinion. If you could have made the MPK car 100 pounds lighter and use the 136 Pro Charger, would you have? Yes. <laughs> that is a no brainer right there. Absolutely, I would have. Anything that you can do to lose weight, especially something as significant as 100 pounds, it's worth it. Yeah. Um, would you ever build a driver Nova? That's not what you had to buy for. Yeah. I don't know. I have to, I'm going to be honest. I have too many cars. And, and as I get older, it, it takes a toll on you. I don't get to enjoy the cars that I have now. I've actually been thinking about selling a few of them. Um, if you can't enjoy your car, what fun is it? Like, I'm sure you guys heard me say, we're going to go over to the storage building and get yeah. 
the, the fire dunk out. I don't even have room to keep everything here at my place. So I, I wouldn't mind getting in with a few of them. I have someone that's asked a couple times, would you guys build a burnout car for Australia and compete? Um, Y'all been going through our phones or what? Yeah, I feel like somebody's been reading our minds, uh, minus the whole go to Australia part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, don't know a whole lot about burnout cars and drifting and stuff like that, but yes, we're going to build something like that. And do a giveaway for one of your cars. Uh, you never know, someday. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. Um, they're kind of all running to about the same question now, so we can probably we can probably wrap it up. Yeah, uh, it's been an hour and a half. Yeah, so thanks for everybody for coming in. Hell, we've got 2,500 people still watching us here on yeah. YouTube. We appreciate it, guys. A like, Facebook. We appreciate How many? Almost 1,000 on Facebook. Oh, wow. Nice. We appreciate the, the, the fan support for real, and it's it definitely keeps us motivated to keep doing this. Absolutely. So... Uh, we'll we'll do it some more, like we touched on earlier. Uh, Mallory's going to come in, make us do this stuff. Uh, we'll still have more YouTube videos coming at you, uh, more Facebook content, more more everything. So stick around with us, and we'll we'll keep bringing it to you.